Are we having fun yet? Yes, we are. Welcome to the kingdom. I'm Andy, and welcome to another beginner series for Satisfactory. What's in this episode? Well, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to easily set up your nuclear power. Let's get in there. Sorry to quickly interrupt you, but I just found out that over 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. So why don't you do me a wonderful Christmas Thanksgiving gift and, and give me a chance and subscribe. I'm trying to get 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I hope you guys can and uh, let's get on with the show. Okay, I have a few easy and quick steps for you. The biggest step is probably going to be the hardest. This one is going to take you a while to get to, and once you get to this point, you'll be ready for this. You have to unlock Tier 7. And I know by the time you unlock Tier 7, you've unlocked steel, you've unlocked plastic, you've unlocked all the, the material use you need in order to get this far. But you have to make sure you unlock nuclear power. You also have to unlock hazmat suits so that you can get near the nodes that you're going to meet in here. But one thing most people don't know, and I didn't unlock it until I started doing this, was uh, you have to unlock gas masks. Because I didn't go into the gas areas, I didn't feel like going into the gas areas. But you need the gas filter in order to be able to make iodine infused filters. So just so you know, and uh, yeah. Okay, so the second thing you need to do when you go out into the world is you need to use your newfound power and the free rating, I think I was already on it. But one's over here, which is the one I'm about to show you, and then two more will show up in a few seconds. And I'll be show you all three on the map. Um, they're all in the center of the map, and depending on which uh, playthrough you're going through, I'm on playthrough four, which means I'm all up here in this right corner. And I'm going to use this one right here, which I'll show you all about it. This one is really close to playthrough one. This one is actually close to playthrough two. So here we are. I'm going to jump into this water over here. And I have my suit on. Oh, I'm going to slow down so much. Can't put on your jetpack because you have to be able to do stuff. So this is my little thing that's telling me where I am. There we go. As I was saying, is mushrooms you're gonna need. You're gonna need to be able to get it for the masks. And um, this is where I start getting radiation, but I have my hazmat suit on, so I should be fine. You're gonna see my stuff going down. I made a lot. I made a whole bunch. But in here, you will see underground, every single one of them is in a cave you will see what you're looking for, which is this node right here, all green and glowing. Another thing you're gonna find out in this area is you will have two medium spiders. Um, so basically the difference between medium spiders and the ones that you usually find is medium ones can belch toxic gas to try to kill you even more than they normally do. But as long as you are able to do stuff I usually, um, on any of them, I usually make the towers. So I made the towers, and uh, just for you guys out there, I'll show you real quick. Uh, oh my goodness. You make a lookout tower. You make a lookout tower, and you get up there, and you shoot down, and the toxic gas can't get you. But you make it, get it out to your area, and um, I'll get back to the area where I'm going to teach you how get all this thing going so I'll meet you out there okay here we are at the construction base the where I was just at was just in there but I had to go around and here we are so what items do you need shipped into your base in order to be able to make this control rods to get your power up and running well you need a few things you need uranium which is what these leaves are non radioactively representing <laughs> you need sulfur you need limestone I didn't have this icon for it, but water. And that's what you need on site. Now, if you want to make everything on site, then you also need either plastic and copper or AI limiters, coal, iron. And uh, these things right here are making two of the parts you need, which are electromagnetic control rods, which are stators, which are the pipes and the wire with 
the um, AI limiters. And this is just steel beams and concrete. So these things over here, we're going to take them just because I can. And that's what these two are making. Steel beams, then mix it with concrete. You got industrial. I can never remember what this is. This Industrial, in case industrial beam. They've changed it a couple times. So I, uh, and this one right here is making pipes. Pipes go with wired mixed stators. Stators go with AI limiters to make the electromagnetic control rod. Yeah, I actually said that right. But the part you need to really know is this right over here. This part is the part that you need the radioactive of because this is uranium being shipped in right here. <laughs> so the first thing you need is a refinery. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so in the first one, we are shipping in uh, sulfur and water. And you're going to then be making sulfuric acid. So let's set, the, set that up. We're going to power it up. That's not what I meant, but I guess we'll just power that up now. Okay, I'm going to be very careful. I am wearing the proper stuff. But we're going to ship out sulfuric acid. Now, sulfuric so acid comes in here, and there it is, all yellow. And I actually painted the the uh, pipe yellow because I like making things a little bit more complicated. <laughs> Refinery. Okay, let's do this again, and uh, put it in the middle. Okay, try to stay back. Now, this is this is the machine you're going to have to be a little bit more wary of. Because when this machine starts going, you need to be about you need to be two blocks away from it. So when this machine goes, make sure this one is away from everything else. Because as soon as I turn this thing on, it's gonna start radioactively everything. You're making uranium pellets. Yep, there I am. <laughs> Getting radioactive. Well, let's do the output first. So let's quickly do this so that while I can. Now, let's, let's not be too radioactive, but turn this on. Look, radiation levels start going. You need to be uh, two blocks away. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. Okay, and then the last step is you get your assembler going. Okay. That works. Yep, I'm already, I'm already <laughs> radioactive myself. This is the part that, you know, you have to be wary of. But know what's going to happen. So the pellets are coming in. You're getting uh, limestone turned into concrete in. And then you're going to be making with those items an encased uranium cell. Okay. So we sit there. Get that through. And it's going to radioactive. Nope. And all those three things are going to come over here to this side over here. So all three things are now making stuff. You have to make sure you have plenty of water. Let's get this thing going. I'll lean it a little bit forward just so I have enough space for everything. And we just need to hook three of them up. Now I'm curious on something we're going to be making stuff is I want to know if this nuclear rod is like, um, Oh, no power. No wonder. Okay. Here we are. Set up and powered up. So it's getting the uranium cells. It's getting the sit there. Now I wasn't getting irradiated. I'm not getting irradiated right here. So I believe that, that as soon as it leaves, and gets encased, you're fine. But we'll find out very short. Actually, let me take some out and put it in my inventory. I'm not, I am getting so radiated, it's, it's crazy. I, I never played with it. I didn't actually play with this machine. I didn't want it to, to mess up before I got to play with you guys. But then we get to make the nuclear plant. So now ins and outs on this plant, that's good enough for me. 
ins and outs on this plant is it costs quite a lot. It looks awesome. Um, let's let's quickly get water going on here to make this sit, sit this. Shifting water going in. I don't know. Make sure this thing is getting water. It's getting water. I don't know if this thing lift fills with water or not. It might. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. But we're still waiting for the electromagnetic control rods. Come on. Okay, I realized that I did not hook this up. Quick fix. This thing started running. And it's now made ourselves a nuclear fuel rod. We'll put it in our inventory. That one is also radioactive if you put it on you. Just so we know. Just wanted to make sure that every single time... You guys know you don't have to do it yourself. You let me do it. So let's stick it in there. And um, it will quickly, and without me knowing, run over here, set this thing up, and then we can set this power and hook it up to the main power. So this thing will start running. So there it is running with that. <laughs> sit there. Everything is running. It's going to produce a bunch of power. But you have to make sure you have at least 50 water and uh, going at it at all times. But also know this, if this thing is running at full power, if I were to have shut everything else off and have this thing running like at its fullest capacity, it will use 0.2 of a fuel rod every minute and create five nuclear waste every single minute. So that's the other part you need to do. And the final part is you need to figure out how you're going to get rid of your nuclear waste. Some people, they build way up into the sky and put it way up into the sky and put a huge, gigantic uh, sky storage area. Some people put it on the edge of the map. Some people find deep, like the ones that go really far down, it's like a cliff and put it way far down so you don't have to look at it there. But the, you have to store it somewhere. There's no way to get rid of it. There's no way to stop it. Um, another thing people do, um, and I don't really recommend this, but they load up a truck on the edge of uh, that cliff, and they get in, and they try to bail out as their truck is going and let the thing go over the edge, and they got rid of some. Uh, I don't recommend that because it doesn't despawn when it's down there. It will still be there. It will still load. You might as well have it in a box somewhere at the edge of the map. So, or you could just not do it at all. So I'm going to actually turn this off because I don't want more nuclear waste than I already have. This, this is going to sit here with three nuclear waste in it, and I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> because I don't want to deal with the nuclear waste for me. But for you guys... I know you guys, like, if you're okay with dealing with the nuclear waste, this might by far outpowers anything out there. You set up a gigantic power plant with like 10 of these and you are powering your base and every other base you could possibly think of. And uh, yeah, and uh, I hope you guys like this. So if you like what you saw, hit the like button. If you love what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for joining me for setting up this new power project. And um, I will see you guys later. Sayonara and ciao.